Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Um, I haven't been on here in a very long time and I know y'all, some of y'all probably wonder where I was at, but I honestly, well, let me zip in this up. Oops. <laughs> I've had a lot going on in my life. Like I've started two new jobs and it's just, my life was just hectic. Like my personal life and just relationship and just all types of craziness going on um and just me trying to get my health together and it just was a lot but um i'm feeling good right now and you know i'm just hoping for the best and hoping that everything just fall together and you know whatever but i'm doing my eyebrows but well, I'm about to do my eyebrows because as y'all can see by the title, this is also a get ready with me, but this is a story time as well. So I'm just going to be getting ready as I'm talking and y'all know, whatever, y'all know the whole, what the get ready with me is. But um, yeah, y'all, so my eyebrows is something I'm, be, I'm always insecure about. So I make sure I do my eyebrows every single day. <laughs> and the uh, eyebrow gel or whatever you call it that I use is this right here. Let me see if y'all can see it. Tattoo, tattoo studio or whatever it is, something. But yeah, y'all. So I'm gonna just do my makeup, do my eyebrows, put a little foundation on, maybe a little concealer. Or honestly, I might just use concealer because sometimes I don't need all this foundation, you know. My face, it ain't like that clear, but it's kind of clear. You know, I don't really need all that other extra stuff. But anyway, I'm going to do my eyebrows real quick. So, oh wait, let me get my mirror. I don't even have my mirror ready. I'm just so ready to start. Then I got to make sure I remember to put my nose ring in because I took it out because I, I got to get a new... Um, nose ring because I don't really like the one I, I have right now. But anyway, yeah, y'all. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'm gonna try to chit chat. So I'm not gonna say. All right. So this story time, it was crazy. I mean, it just was like, what the hell? Like, what was the like? I just felt like I wasted my time, and I just was like what the hell like you know it's like i just felt like why did i like something told me something was gonna happen but i was like let me give him a chance let me just see how it is or whatever but y'all so i'm not gonna say when this was but because i don't know who's watching i don't know yeah whatever but um so basically the guy i met him at chick-fil-a drive through when i was you know in the drive through and he pulled up and he like pulled up next to my car and he you know was talking out the window he was like can i you know get your number or whatever like can you tell me your number so i told him my number this is while we were in the car i was in a drive through and i told him my number and um i was just like okay he's handsome like he was you know, he looked good, I guess, or whatever. But I wasn't, I just was like, all right, I'm just giving my number, whatever. So I gave him my number and we texted a little bit. We wasn't really texting as much because I'm not really a good texter, y'all. I'm, especially when, well, when I first meet you or when I'm not into you, but really when I first meet somebody, I, I don't text back like that. So, I was not really that consistent, but he was consistent. Well, he was he was texting me, calling, but I had a lot going on that week, I think. So, yeah, but he was texting and all that or whatever. And wait, let me make sure I can see. It's so weak. But we was texting or whatever, but he just, yeah, he sent me a picture of him and all that. And I was like, okay, or whatever. <laughs> but anyway. I was just like, nah, I wasn't really consistent. But then that's when a week later, I think I started texting him more. And I was like getting to know him and he was on the phone with me 
or am I skipping stuff? Oh no, we stopped talking because I just was not talking to him. I'm skipping everything. One, I, a guy will get it when a girl just don't want to deal with him. So it's like, I just was so busy. I just stopped texting him. And I was like, you know, I, you know, I, well, I didn't say anything. I just stopped texting him. And I guess he figured not to talk to me or whatever. So that's when I just was like, um, I end up hitting him up maybe weeks later, probably like three, four weeks later, like a month, a month later. I hit him up and I was just like, um, hey, what's up? How you doing? Whatever. He was like, um, so the date, okay, so I'm, yeah. So this time he called, we were on the phone, we were talking um, and he was just like, he has two kids. Like he was asking me, do I have kids? I said, no, I don't have kids. He was like, he has two kids, I think. And I was just like, mm, like, mm, like, I don't really talk to guys with kids or whatever. So <laughs> that's when, anyway, so he was like, is that a deal breaker? Like, what? I was like, um, I just was quiet. I think I was, I didn't say anything. I just laughed. And so I was like, you funny. Like he, he just, he's very funny though. I will say that he's funny. So then that's when he, I just, you know, I ain't say nothing else. But then that's when I think two days later it was no it was the same day he was like he want to see me he want me to hang out with him later on he can give me something to eat maybe we can have some drinks or whatever so that's when we got something well he i i thought that we was going to actually go out to eat i'm gonna be honest i don't like when guys they tr they will trick you into just being in their house like i'm like i'm not i don't like to just sit in the house with a guy like the first time we, we going out, come on, we need to go somewhere. So it's like, I felt like, why was we just sitting in there? So we were sitting in there or whatever. And I just was like, um, no, before I, I'm skipping, I'm skipping over stuff. Y'all, I'm so bad at telling stories because I just be, I just be going all over the place. But anyway, I just be rambling. Um, he was like, he'll send me the money so I can get something to eat. And then he wants me to come to his house. And I already felt, like I said, I felt like it was just a red flag. Like I just felt uncomfortable about that. Cause I'm like, I'm not about to just sit in your house, yo. So I was thinking about it. First I was about to say, no, I'm not coming. But I was like, oh, I don't have nothing to do. Like I might as well just go. Like I don't have nothing to do, like whatever. So I had no plans. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go. This was like a Friday night. So I went and so yeah, it was like a Friday night and I went over there and he just was like, um, I had ordered some salmon or whatever. The food was real good. And he, you know, cash at me. But when we was in there, he was just making jokes. I told y'all he's funny. <laughs> he's making jokes and he was just talking about his family. He was just talking about him playing basketball and all this stuff. So I must went out of nowhere. We just, he was like, you gonna watch a movie? So I'm like, okay, we can watch a movie. But I noticed he kept on acting really like hype. Like he was like looking around. He was just, he wouldn't keep still. Like I'm sitting down the whole time I'm eating. He just would not keep still. He was like, want something to drink? So he got up and he was like, how about I taste some of the wine he has in the fridge, in the refrigerator. So I'm like, All right, I'll get up, I'll taste some of the wine. So he just like real, like I said, he was real fidgety, hype. Like he just wouldn't keep still. And I'm just looking at him like, what is wrong with him? Like what the, so that's when, <laughs> that's when he just was like, um, you know, just like I said, just fidgety, but he finally sat down and he was just like, yeah, we can, um, he, he, he said he smoked sometime. I was like, I don't smoke. So, but he was like, we could watch a scary movie or something. So I'm like, okay. So I'm just eating and we talking, all that. He was like, he want to maybe meet my family one day. I'm like, look, this man, he really just saying all this stuff. We don't know each other. Like, we got to take the time to get to know each other before we worrying about meeting each other's family, all that. This is the concealer that I use. Um, so anyway, that's when out of nowhere... Um, we just was sitting down. He was about to put the movie on. He didn't even put it on. He was about to put it on.
he was about to put it on. Y'all like my earrings, 100% natural. Yes, honey, 100% natural. <laughs> so anyway, he ended up, no, no, no. We was sitting down about to watch the movie. Out of nowhere, I'm hearing like some knocking on the door. I'm like, what's going on? Like, look, y'all, he was acting like nothing was going on. Like he act like he did not hear the door knock. He was just sitting there, like just sitting there looking at me. And he like, he about to put the movie on. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, so he about to put the movie on. Like, what is he doing? So they knocking and they just started knocking harder. Like, like, you know, I don't want to cause no attention in my house. But anyway, I would demonstrate for it. She was, it, the person was knocking like real loud. So I'm like, what's going on? I said, you need to get the door. He said, I don't hear that. You hear that? I don't <laughs> He was like, I don't hear that. You hear that? Um, I was like, uh, he was like, you hear something? I'm like, yes, I do hear something. You do too. Like, I'm going like, so I'm just like quiet. I'm like, oh my God, like, what was that? I said, um, I was so pissed off, y'all. I was like, yo, I was whispering, y'all, because I'm like, I don't know who this is. And I might get, you know, might get him caught up or whatever, but I, why did he put me in this situation? So I'm just thinking, I'm like, well, what was this? First, I was worried too, because I'm like, could be some niggas like trying to get in there and do something to him. Like, I, you got to be very aware of your surroundings. Like, that's scary. And that's why I don't like to just go over any guy's house because you don't know who they know. You don't know who's after them. You don't know what they do. You know, it's too many guys out here getting killed, especially. If you're in Baltimore, like, that's where I'm from. Like, so I don't just go to anybody's house. I don't like to just go to anybody's house. But I trust them, you know, whatever. So that's when I'm hearing, open the door. A woman, a girl, whatever. Open the door. Open the door right now. I'm like, oh, shit. So I'm like, yo, what am I going to do? I'm so scared. I've never been in this situation, yo. So I was like, oh, my God. He was like, I, I was like, I need to hide. I need to hide. Because I'm like, I panic because I'm like, I don't want her to know who I am. You know, some woman crazy. Like, you could tell her, like, but some woman you could be like, look, this is my first time meeting him. I don't know him like that. Well, you know, I don't know him. Just getting to know him. They might not want to hear that. Like, some women don't believe. So, y'all, I'm not going to put no foundation on. I'm actually just going to put some concealer on. This is the way I do it. I don't know how y'all do it, but don't judge me, you know. I feel like I don't need foundation. Sometimes I'll put foundation on, then I put concealer on, but I don't have time right now because I am about to go somewhere. So, yeah. Um, I don't have time to do all that, but this is what I do. <laughs> but, um, yeah, y'all, so I'm just like, um, I'm like, you gonna get the, you gonna get the door? But, um, so I was like, I'm, I need to hide. So he had like a deck or a balcony, whatever you wanna call it. I went out in the back and I just was, I just was like so scared. I, was, I did not know what to do. I was trying to hide. Cause I'm like, what if she come out here and do something to me? It's like, like I said, some women, some people are crazy. They don't care what you guys say. They gonna try to fight you, all that, you know? So I'm like, yo, I don't have time for this. I will never talk to this nigga again. So I'm hiding or whatever. And he just like sitting there. Um, Y'all, I just been rambling and forgot to finish my eyebrows. <laughs> I forgot to finish my eyebrows. <laughs> I started moving on to my face. So I, I'm going to look stupid. But anyway, I, um, I just, you know... I was like, what the hell? So I'm not doing this no more. So I'm just out there probably for like, mm, I say like 10 minutes. I'm out in the, in the uh, balcony or deck or whatever you want to call it. Or maybe, maybe not that long. I feel like it was mm, like 10 minutes. So I'm just like nervous as hell. I'm peeking through the blinds to see if I can see anything. I didn't see anything. I don't even know what the girl looked like. I don't know anything. But he ended up 
the door open and I was scared as hell. I thought that was her, but it was him. He was like, you can come back in, you can come back in. I understand if you don't want to deal with me no more, it's, it's fine, I understand. She just won't leave me alone. It sounded like he said, that's my main chick or something. I'm like, what the fuck? Yo, it sounded like he said, that's my main, my main, that's my main chick or whatever. I'm like, she won't leave me alone. I broke up with her weeks ago and she just won't leave me alone. I'm like, what? So... Y'all, y'all know I was like, what the hell? I was like, I'm not dealing with him ever again. Like, he he can forget about me. Because I'm, I'm like, I'm not about to be put in no drama and all that situation. Like, and I understand, like, how it is from experience. I definitely understand how it is from experience. Honestly, I can't really judge him. Because I've been in situations where... I didn't want to be with that guy or I broke up with him and he just won't leave me alone and he's popping up or whatever. So I could see if he actually was done with her and she just wouldn't let him go because people just, some people don't let go. Some people just, you know, act crazy and stuff. But I just feel like he still was dealing with her, Robbie. And so I just was like, you know what, I'm going to leave and yeah, you won't have to worry about me ever again. So I got in my car. <laughs> And I just hurried up and left. And yeah, he told me, yeah, she want to come in or whatever. So I'm like, why would I talk to him after this knowing that he is still messing with her? Like, no, you talking about this your main and all. I'm not doing that side chick crap. I'm not doing it. So that's when, yeah, that was it. So she popped up or whatever and... I just was like, what the hell? Like, how did I get in this situation? Like, and like I said, it's crazy. It's like, I felt like something was going to happen. I'm like, I don't normally be. Okay, it sounded like an accident just happened outside. But um, I'm like, I'm not about to be in this situation. So he was, you know, saying he understand or whatever. And then he kept calling me the next day, y'all, saying he apologized. I'm like, I understand, but you need to just, you know, deal with this. I'm not going to be in these type of situations. Like, no. So, um, I'm like, you know, whatever. Like, you, you figure it out. And then, yeah. But I had a feeling he probably was dealing with a girl, but I didn't think that she would, somebody would pop up. Like, just by looking at him, he just seemed like the type where he got some girls that he you know, deal with, or he told me he, you know, he got two kids, so maybe he still deal with the baby mom or whatever, so, but y'all, that was just crazy, and I'm like, I've never been in this situation before, when a girl popped up, and I, I didn't even hear anything when she came in there, like, when she came, when he let her in, and I was on the deck, out back, I didn't hear anything, it's so crazy, like, it's really crazy. I didn't hear anything. Like, I didn't hear anything at all, y'all. Like, nothing. But I love this, y'all. This little makeup brush, like, it's a tiny little makeup brush for the eyebrow gel or whatever it's called. And it definitely blends it in so well. It makes your eyebrows look so natural. Can y'all see this? Yes. Oh, wait, let me make sure. And I usually use this to trace, you know, to make sure I shape it right. To shape my eyebrows the way I want it. Um, let me see. But y'all, I have more story times that I want to share. Like... I'm really definitely about to be more, like, on here more. Because, um, you know, it's like once I get my, it's like once I be really doing good, I just end up just slowing down. Because my life is so crazy, y'all. Like, I be having a lot happening. But I can't use this as an excuse no more. You know, it's people that do have a life like me. <laughs> they got other stuff going on and they still make time to get their stuff done, you know, to edit video. It just be a lot. Like I had videos sitting in my phone since the beginning of this year, <laughs> since like February. 
like I was supposed to then post my Atlanta vlog when I went to Atlanta back in like February. So y'all, I a little disappointed in myself. I'm a little disappointed, but I'm gonna get it together. Like I'm really am. We are gonna get this together. And my goal is to definitely be at 2,000 subscribers by next year. Because, yeah, I'm not playing. Like, I'm really not about to play around. Like, this is not... I mean, my channel to really do good. You know, I, I made this channel to really be successful. You know, like, this is... This is what I did plan to do. It's just that college was a lot for me. And I'm the type where I have I can't focus on too much at once. And then I got my two new jobs and yeah, it just was a mess. But when I was working at Amazon, I, I really could have, because y'all know I used to be at Amazon. Currently, right now, I'm a teacher assistant, prior educator, AKA prior educator. And I, well, per educator, AKA teacher assistant, whatever you want to call it, also known as whatever, teacher assistant. And I'm a rehabilitation counselor. Um, but with that, I'm just kind of like um, making sure people with mental health problems take their medicine. With the teacher assistant job, I am just, um, I'm working with first grade kids helping the teacher with stuff, great and work, putting the kids in small groups. Honestly, I feel like I'm basically a teacher because I just be doing a lot of the stuff teachers do. I just don't get their pay, which I feel like I really need to at this point. <laughs> I'm going to use my little makeup brush to, you know, blend in. But that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to come back and show y'all my you know face once it's blended in or whatever but all right y'all so i blended it in um put some lip gloss on <laughs> and as y'all can see um you know you don't i don't i didn't need all that foundation for real because the little it, it's just fine for me like that really be it honestly like I don't, you know, I don't even need, and I do wear foundation sometimes, but I don't need all that. Like, on my, this is really my makeup routine, honestly. So, concealer, make sure I do my eyebrows. Y'all know, I cannot leave without my eyebrows being done. Concealer, and that be it, y'all. And with this hairstyle, I like how I don't have to really worry about my edges and all that being done because it literally covers everything. Um, sometimes if I feel like it, I might use some Ebon. Um, this is the best edge control. Ebon gel or whatever you call it, edge tamer. This is really good. You can get this from, you know, any beauty store. Any beauty store, any beauty store. But, um... Yeah, I wish y'all could see my full body. Like, one day I'm about to buy, like, a big, big tripod or whatever you call it. Because I just, I, like, I just, I'm tired of just, you know, my neck, head, all that. Because I be wanting to show my whole outfit. Like, that's just like when I be wanting to do try on hauls. I be wanting to show everything, but I can't. I, I got to get a big tri tripod. I be wanting to do um, try on hauls. You know, I want y'all to see my cute little outfits, all that, like. Um, I might add a picture up top of how I look right now or whatever. Um, I currently right now, well, I keep using that word. I noticed y'all recently, I've been using that word currently so much. <laughs> I don't know why I like that word. It's so funny. But like, um, I been, um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, I currently, I currently just use mascara. Like sometimes I get my lashes done from this place, Star Faces. I don't know if y'all heard of that. It's in Baltimore. Um, Star Faces. That's um, they have that located in every mall almost in Baltimore. 
um they do, <clears throat> they do eyelashes eyebrows all that but i do my like i just wear mascara on my real lashes and i honestly still have some leftover mascara from last night um which i'm gonna just add maybe a little more mascara but i don't really care like and with the lashes like i said sometimes i get my lashes done but let me see i might add a little color to my lips sometimes i get my lashes done but most of the time i'm wearing mascara because yeah Is this too much? What y'all think? Well, y'all can't tell me. Y'all can tell me in the comments. Yeah. I think my eyebrows look okay. I do them all types of different ways every day. <laughs> every day I do my eyebrows differently. Um, sometimes they look like this. Sometimes they look a little thinner. Sometimes they look thicker. Whatever. No, no, no. I think this is the thickest. Sometimes I look, I have them a little thinner, but um. Then I use this. Where is my other? Where is my thing? I don't know what I did with my um. I use like a little makeup brush thing to blend it in sometimes, or I'll use this. And yeah, so let me just see. Just to make them look more natural even though they look natural already a little bit i mean you can tell i, I did them but yeah you know they don't look like fake fake you know like they don't look like it's whatever i mean but this is the mascara i always use um and I'm gonna put my, um, I'm gonna kind of clean my nose ring and I'm gonna put that in. All right, y'all, so I said, I decided, damn, I can't talk, what's wrong with me? I decided not to do my edges and I meant my, just like gel to front and all that. I ain't feel like doing all that. Cause when I'm going not that special, like I really don't care to even do all that. But um, I'm about to put my nose ring in, and yeah. Okay, y'all. So my nose ring is in. I don't really like this one. I like I like the bigger one um that I used to have, and I do need to buy some new ones. That one got messed up. But yeah, this is the one I'm using. And I'm put some lotion on my hair. I want to have ashy. But yeah, y'all. Um, thanks for watching my video. Um, like I said, I have way more story times that I have to tell. Um, I'm going to show y'all what I have on. My stomach is getting big, y'all. Do not look at my stomach. I mean, don't pay attention to my stomach. Do not pay attention. Um, but yeah. Yes. Stick it in. <laughs> hey, yeah. So, let me see if I can show you my full body this way. Which, um sweatsuit or whatever you want to call it. Well, these are leggings, but I don't really know what to call it. Thank y'all for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. All right.